If you want to see me swatch the Jackie Ina ABH palette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine, and yes, we are going to swatch this beautiful looking palette. Look at the iridescence on this. It's so, it's so cool. I'm hoping the camera is allowing you to see it. Uh, this packaging is more beautiful in person than I ever could have imagined. It goes from purple to blue to green, yellow, and uh, orange and pink. Very, very pretty. And it has the typical number of shadows in an ABH palette, which is 14, I think. Yep, 14 shadows. If you've seen the Amorese palette, that one is unusual because it's a bit bigger. I think it has uh, 16 in it. And the, the purples and pinks really got me as far as this palette. And just in general, the deep color saturation of this palette have me very, very um, intrigued. Even though I'm not a big fan of the, the collaboration uh, partner, the YouTuber that is behind this palette. But you know what? I thought, can I get over that and just enjoy the palette for what it is and enjoy the fact that it's a very good curation? And the answer is yes. And I'm, I am, since I got it, since it's been in my collection, I've been very happy that I have it. And so I'm delighted to be um, swatching it with you today. And did I just jam my finger? That must have been there before. Oh no, oh, shoot. I jammed my finger in sponsored. <sighs> How often does that happen? Jeez. And well, I'll be swatching it in a second, so it doesn't really matter. And I just realized I haven't taken the um, plastic off the mirror, and I know a lot of us enjoy that. So let me see if I can do that. I just, I just chipped my nail polish. Way to go, Elan. That's awesome. Okay, let's try that again. Why is it so hard? Jeez. Okay, I've got the, the corner up. We can now do it. The satisfying little peeling away of the plastic. There we go. Not sure it was worth messing up my manicure, but I guess it is what it is. Luckily, I uh, swatch with my other hand, so you won't have to keep seeing a chipped uh, nail. My other hand does not have... Oh, it does have chipped nail polish, but it's only on my thumb. Okay, I think I'm all set. I have my uh, towel here and the palette. And I think we're going to do, since it's 14, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I'm going to do three swatches at a time and I'm going to go in order. We're gonna do the first full row and then we're going to do the second row. And I usually only use these three fingers at this point, unless it's a huge palette, because the pinky, my pinky is too tiny and it does not do a good job for swatching. So we're going to go with um, the first three, which are Soleil, Supreme, and Pinker, I think. Pinker? Yeah. I can read upside down. Very cool. Okay. Not upside down, backwards, I guess. So Soleil, Supreme and Pinker, and I do do a double swatch. So we're gonna go with this first pass and see how it goes and then dip in a second time. So the mats are a little bit uh, dry and a little bit um, it's rough, I guess. Okay, this is Soleil. It's a good name for that one, although it, on my skin tone it's really hard to see all that well. And Soleil looks, it almost looks like it's gold and pink at the same time. And this one is Supreme, nice matte. Now we have Pinker. You know, I would have called this third one Supreme and then Pinker Supreme. I think they should have been backwards in the name, but that's just me. So there's the first swatch. We definitely want to build up the mats and the fingers. Okay, so let's go back in to those three. Just looking at Soleil here to get a feel for the color. Definitely has a pink tone to it, at least on my skin. 
and pinker. The purple is definitely quite gritty and it is very normal to have that in a purple color. So that's fine. Oh yeah, that built up nicely. Looks like it has somewhat of a white base to it too. I like it. Okay, Soleil Pinker and, so, Soleil, sorry, Soleil Supreme and Pinker. See, I really want to call this one Pinker. I just do. Okay, here we go. I'm going to wipe off those fingers and we're going to do the second set of three swatches. Okay, so we're going into these three. So we've got Big Wig, Dwolas, very cute, Dwolas, and Credit. Big Wig, Dwolas, and Credit. That purple and the, <laughs> the Dwalas makes me think of pimpy colors <laughs> for some reason. And Credit, which is a rich brown. It makes me think of the brown somewhat. Yeah, it's not quite, doesn't have that little purple undertone, but it makes me think of the brown from the Pat McGrath um, Platinum Bronze that I just, I just watched recently. I'll put that uh, video right here for you. Okay, so here we go. We've got, I want to see the names here. Big Wig. I like that purple. It's one of the things that draw, drew me to the palette, that color. Now the next one is Dwolas. I like the tackiness of this one. It really is quite smooth going on. And then credit. Okay, yeah, it is definitely similar to the Pat McGrath Brown in that six pan platinum bronze palette. It's so saturated, it barely needs a second swatch. And it has kind of that plummy or burgundy undertone. So there we go. I'm going to go in a second time with all three of those. I really do like Anastasia mattes. I'm a big fan. And the purple definitely has a white base there as well. Should build up nicely on the second swatch. And it does. And Dwellas. Very nice. And there we go for those three. Yeah, big fan of the brown. And here are the fingers. Very pretty, very pretty. All right, so we have just a final two on the first row. See how I'm doing for the, the arm here. I think I'm gonna be okay to get the whole palette on one arm. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So we have Lituation, and then these two are Zan, I don't know what that means, Zan and Wigglies. Okay, so we're gonna go Lituation, which Lituation with that Credit Brown it's going to be beautiful and they're going to be side by side so that's good because you'll be able to see them and Zam is very glittery it's very chunky and Wigglies is a gorgeous burgundy metallic here we go for these three I definitely like those okay so we have Lituation Again, this one makes me think of the Pat McGrath palette. There's one that's a, it's not quite as pink as the one in the Pat McGrath palette, but just like the, um, the one I'm thinking of in the, the brown, I did say that they were going to go well together and there's no question that these will as well. The next one is Zam, I think. Kind of like Dam, Zam. That is pretty. 
inner to center lid that would look so bomb or on as a center highlight center of the lid and then wigglies is this one. Oh my goodness oh my goodness a fiery red actually this red makes me think of the mark jacobs red that i just threw in the garbage yeah if you want to see more about that story you can take a look at the pen that palette that i just filmed and it'll be right there let's go into um, these three colors a second time I really like Lituation. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, let's do the second swatch on these. Lituation. These are close together. I gotta be pretty precise. Zam. and wigglies beautiful so nice i'm so glad that way i have a replacement for the thing i just threw away beautiful 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 i really i could even do a look with these three look at that so nice so nice it's beautiful okay and we have five more to go Okay, so we have <laughs> Shookington, Trust Issues, and Edges. Nice. Shookington, oh, that one is very crumbly. Okay, Shookington, Trust Issues, crumbly again. And then a nice mat called Edges. And I know that Edges is going to go really well with Sponsored, which is the next color. Okay. Shookington. Very crumbly. I lost part of it there. But look at that color, though. Trust Issues is next. That is pretty. That would be a very nice topper. Very light on my skin. And then we have edges, which is a nice matte. That, like I said, is going to look really nice with the next one. It's not a color that I think looks all that great on me, but it's definitely a beautiful color. So here are the, look at this one. This one is making me think of Psychedelic Sister from Urban Decay. Just, just have to say. And this one makes me think a little bit of a Cleona um, highlighter uh, from the, the Aftershock um, highlighters from Cleona. Okay, second pass. Okay, let's see if I can keep the crumble at bay here. Shookington, second pass with Shookington. You see how there's stuff on it? That all fell the first time I swatched that one. Very crumbly. Okay, so there we go. Um, trust issues is next. It's all over my hand. All right, trust issues. That really is going to do well as a topper for sure. And then edges. Okay, looks good. And we have two more. One of them that I dug my finger into before we started swatching is sponsored. And the other one is Ginger. So Sponsored and Ginger. Just last two and then we are done. And Sponsored is one that I really enjoy. It's the kind of duochrome. You can find it in Urban Decay and in actually a number of different palettes. And it's, it's, just, it's just guaranteed to look good, basically. It's that typical um, either blue or green with a 
brown under undertone. Very nice duochrome. And then we have a ginger, it's the last one. So yeah, um, sponsored can really go with both of those colors. So that's the first pass. These are the fingers. Look at this one. Oh, beautiful. And let's go in. Well, actually, <laughs> that's just stained from the last one, but there's these two that we just finished. Just beautiful. Let's, I say a green, but it's got, depending on the angle, it's green or emerald green or a little bit to the blue, at least with this ring light. It's very pretty. And ginger. And when I do mats a second time, I try to just pick up whatever was kicked up the first time. Sponsored. And ginger. Ginger is a little bit gritty, similar to uh, this one here. Credit, I think this one is. So look at these shadows. Very nice. So if I'm looking at them, which ones do I like the most? Um, I definitely will say Soleil is, is, is beautiful. I'm a big sucker for um, colorful mattes, so I really enjoy these. Um, I have a lot of gold, so this one, it's nice, but it's nothing that's super new to my collection. I am very curious to see how this one uh, functions compared to the Cleona Aftershock Highlighters. This one is, it's, it is a very nice color, despite the fact that I have a few of, of these in my collection. Like, what, what do I... What do I think in general? I would say that a lot of these are... A lot of these are top drawer colors that I really enjoy having in my collection. Um, let me try to summarize. So I'm going to think about this Jackie Ina ABH palette as follows. I'm going to think of it like an ABH palette in that I really like the formula in general. Especially the matte formula, they blend like a dream, love it. I'm also going to consider that it is a grouping of a lot of colors that in my collection I really tend to appreciate. So kind of like a one-stop shop for colors that I would consider classic, they never let you down, they always look good. I, I don't see in here a single dud whatsoever, whatsoever. I, um, yeah, I think she did a, a really good job. I think she did a really good job. I'm looking forward to, now that I've swatched it, I'm looking forward even more to getting into this palette and doing some uh, looks. And as a matter of fact, it's one of the palettes in the palette roulette uh, that was just uh, requested. If you want to see that video, I'll put it there. It shows you the five eyeshadow palettes that I'll be using over the next month or so and uh, doing looks for. And I'm, I'm really happy that this one is in the rotation because I am definitely going to play with uh, with a lot of these shadows and try to use as many as I possibly can. So that's it. Those are my thoughts. Those are the swatches. Let me know what you think of this Jackie Ina ABH palette. I would love to hear your thoughts. Please share them uh, in the comments. And I look forward to doing my first few looks and to uh, your thoughts when I get to uh, to read them below. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate it every time. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care. Really, really take care.
Thank you.